on understanding how we transfer energy through the body um, to generate force and power. And this is, uh, this is kind of like the basic sequencing of the swing. And most people really don't understand how this works. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna get an understanding of kind of the physics of transfer of energy. Um, doing a simple exercise here with my pro. Um, and then we're gonna talk about things that you can do and need to understand to develop a better sequence of motion so you get more energy into your swing. Uh, at the end of the day, if the sequence is really good, you can develop well over 100 miles an hour of, of, of club head speed with just a little bit of movement from the lower body as long as you know how to, uh, how to, how to, how to let energy unfold through your body. So let me explain first. So here's, here's the exercise we're gonna show you here. This is called the wrecking ball, and this is to get an understanding how energy transfers when, when we're talking about angular momentum and rotational physics, okay? So when, I'm, when I do this motion here, I am transferring energy from the swing of my arms, and then, it's, then, it, then as my arms slow down, it's, it's creating more of an, an acceleration around the wrist or the hand joint when, when the pro accelerates here and it hits the impact pad. So here we go one more time. And there's two phases that happen. One's called the sling phase and one's called the swing phase. When I first change directions and my arm is in an accelerating movement, the, the pro here responds and it extends and tension forms down and it's in what's called a sling. And then as soon as the arm slows down, the, the, uh, the weight here or the whole, the, whole, uh, the whole apparatus here swings as a unit and accelerates faster than the original unit. So the motion that I put here gets amplified into here. And this is what happens through the body in a golf swing, okay? So going back to the golf club so you all can understand this is we actually sling and swing three separate times in a golf swing. And two of them are really deeply in your body and you have to have a really good understanding of what that feels like. So we know in a really good golf swing, we always see the lower body hit the ground and it starts to rotate and then it transfers energy. This is where people struggle a lot as they tend to not understand how to get energy to go from one segment to, to the next segment. So the first segment is the rotation of the pelvis, which takes a lot of energy into the ground with your legs. And what it does is it, it, it's going to sling the thorax. So when you watch really good players, you'll see the lower move, but the shoulders stay kind of back as they start to move. That's when they're slinging their thorax. And as soon as it gets going, the, or as soon as it gets going, the hips are now slowing down, the thorax is speeding up, and it starts to sling your arms. And then your arms pick up the energy of your thorax and they start to swing on their own. That's when the golf club becomes sling. And we see that really nice lagging position. And then from about here to here, the arm is slowing down and the club is speeding up and the body is just riding along to match up. So to understand sequences, I have to get my body in a, in, a, in a position where I can feel how I create energy in each one of these segments. And it happens like that. So it takes a lot of training and a lot of awareness. But here's some kind of simple exercises you can do to start to understand the, the individual slings and swings. And as you become more aware of how these muscles work, you'll be able to start to put more energy into your swing. So the first exercise is really simple. I'm just gonna turn back and I'm gonna hold my shoulders here. And what I wanna do is I just wanna feel like I just put a little bit of movement into my lower body, but I wanna keep my shoulders back. I should feel like a nice tight kind of stretching, muscle, stretching feeling through my core here as it starts to kind of pull on my shoulder blades. If you're moving these at the same time, you're not transferring energy and you're in big trouble. That's most people's big problem. This is one of the hardest ones to feel, okay? So shoulders back, lower body a little bit. Don't spin your hips, that doesn't do anything. Just see if you can feel like you build a little bit of tension, okay? The next one is from the thorax to the arms, okay? So from here, I want you just to kind of take your arms back like this. See if you can hold them in one spot and feel your chest kind of rotates into your lead arm. That's the transference that starts to swing the arms. So the first, so it goes pelvis to thorax, thorax to arms. And then from there, it's a matter of just allowing the golf club to pick up that energy, okay? So if you struggle with golf, you don't understand that there's a series of these slinging and swinging exercise or um, activities that happen throughout the body. One of the easiest ways to understand the, the, slinging, the slinging and swinging aspect is to have one of my training aids called the pro because the very act of swinging this teaches you how everything works through your body. So as I swing and accelerate my arms, the pro lut slings and then it swings on its own. So this activity right in this very pre beginning part of the swing, that's where all of those things happen. And so becoming more and more aware of how the sling and swing system goes through the body is crucial to starting to get to a, a clear concept of, of how you generate force in a golf swing. 
So one more time, it's the hips sling the, the thorax, the thorax slings then swings the arms, the arms sling and then swing the golf club. And that's the, that's the sequence of motion. Hope you all found that helpful. Please hit that subscribe button and we'll see you all next time.